Amen, folks. Praise the Lord. Made it here to the campground. Praise the Lord. I get to preach this morning to y'all. Now I got plans to preach. Praise the Lord. At 7 o'clock in Pakistan and maybe at 7.30 in Pakistan with a different group. And then I got plans to preach at 8 in Pakistan. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the evening time and six o'clock in the evening time for there in Pakistan. They're 10 hours ahead of us. So praise the Lord. And I want to go to uh church of the Highlands here in, uh, in Auburn. And, uh, I wasn't going to go at eight ten, but now I'm going to go at nine thirty here at, I think Opelika is where their service is. And then I'm going to try to go to, uh, the service at 11 o'clock at the Auburn, at the Auburn, uh, church or church of Highlands. I think they, they do a satellite there. I think John told me that yesterday. But yeah, I'm going to be go you know where preach the gospel to every creature. We we'll let people know about Jesus everywhere we go. Everybody will see and let them know. Who knows? Maybe I'll get to preach there one day. That'll be awesome. Praise the Lord. But they got to go by the, hopefully they're following the, the right doctrine. You know what I mean? Hopefully they're following the truth and not watering down the word as many churches do nowadays. But we got to follow the KJV, the truth, guys and gals. But I want to preach this morning. Praise the Lord. Hello there, Mr. And Mr. David. Good morning to you. Nice to see you again too, brother. You too, Mr. Kayser. But if I'm going to be preaching with you here shortly, then, at, uh, I can't remember the time, 5 or 5.30 or, I think you was at, at 5, yes, sir. I'm, I'm not sure, one of y'all. I can't remember right the second, but God's got a plan. It's a, 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 ha, reign. That's our topic this morning. Second Chronicles 22. If y'all please turn that with me. Second Chronicles 22. That air needs to come back on, don't it? Yeah, there we go. I got the door open, the air flow. So why don't I do what I do every single day of my life, my friends? Because I love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. We need all of Jesus. He is the answer. Don't worry about what this world thinks of you. You may be left out of crowd. You may be talking about behind your back. But guess what? God's got you. We need to be saved by His grace through faith, which is none of ourselves, which is a gift from God. Not a work so that any man should boast. We're going to go over the road at the end, too, how we can get saved this morning. But we need to be saved. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you, my friends, you should not be ashamed either. The Lord Jesus Christ is powerful, my friends. Powerful. Uh-oh. All right, y'all Paul. But when y'all search for that, y'all Paul's first station. Oh, don't get your early curly show. It's all about Jesus. I just said he'd give me a little comment. You know, I do that. Yeah, please, please listen, sir. I'll read that later on. We got, we got to go ahead and preach the word of God. Because Ahaziah reigned in Second Chronicles twenty-two, two, right here where the Bible says, forty and two years old was Ahaziah, Ahaziah, when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Ahaliah, the daughter of Omri. Okay, y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for giving me the wisdom and courage to get up and share your word, the word of God, which is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of son of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for that on my mind. Hebrews 4, 12, I don't have plans for that, but everybody needs to read your word, Lord. Help us all read your word, memorize your word. There's a grass wither, flower of faith, the word of our God shall stand forever. Heavens and earth shall pass away with your words, Lord. Your words will not pass away. Help us to dig in and try not to sin. Help us to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. Our trouble is read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. Help us, Jesus. Help us all, Lord. Help my young men this morning. Help them get to church and praise your holy name. Help them praise your holy name every day, Lord, and not try to get sucked in by this world. <laughs> I got him. No, no, the devil is here to kill still and destroy, but Jesus come to give us life and more abundantly. The devil is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He is the prince, the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Help us all understand that scripture in John 10, 10, Ephesians 2, 2, and 1 Peter 5, 8. Help us, Lord. Help me here this morning as I preach, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He is powerful. Let's praise his holy name. Y'all pause one more second. Amen. Let's walk on the Lord's ways. Now, all right, I got three plans. 
preach three times this morning in Pakistan. Praise the Lord. God is powerful preaching to the children and Sunday school children at, on the, at nighttime for them. But uh, the Lord is powerful. We'll move over here just a little bit. And that way I can uh, not have my Bible fall off. Because his mother calls, his mother counseled, excuse me, his mother counseled ungodly. Okay, we're going to go three to three through four, 22, three through four. He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab, for his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. His mother, his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. Wherefore did he, wherefore he did evil in the sight of the Lord, like the house of Ahab, for they were in the counselors after the death of his father to his destruction. Okay, we need we need to seek the Lord and His strength, seek His face continually, live for the Lord. Just don't live for this world and what they're. This oh yeah, we need to do it this way. It's okay. It's okay. That's legal now. We can a man can marry a man, a, a woman can marry a woman. No, it's not like legal in God's eyes. It's not legal in God's eyes. This world is evil, man, guys and gals. Because be of good cheer, as he says in John sixteen thirty three. In this world you shall have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I, who I have overcome the world. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty Jesus Christ is the way, the truth. And the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, as he says in John 15, 14, 6. It's not me. It's he. I'm just quoting scripture, my friend. Just quoting scripture. And okay, let's seek the Lord with all our heart, no matter the consequences. Okay, we're going to read number 9 right here. Number 9. We're right here with this. And he sought Ahaziah, and they caught him. He, he was, he was, for he was in, hid in Samaria, and brought him to Jehu. And when they had slain him, they buried him. They slain him. They were trying to kill the Christians. They slain him and they buried him because said that he is the son of Jehoshaphat who sought the Lord with all his heart. So the house of Ahaziah had no power to keep to keep still the kingdom. I mean, we just read a minute ago that he was he was falling away from the Lord. He was he was counseled by his mother to do wickedly, and he followed his mother's ideas to do wickedly, and then and then. Yeah, just please read the read the chapter. He is powerful, my friends. I'll pause one more second. Lord Jesus Christ, is powerful. But they buried him because he was he, Jehoshaphat. Sought the Lord with all his heart. So we need to seek seek the Lord with all all our hearts. Has David been being a man after God's own heart? You ever heard of that before? Go to Acts Acts thirteen twenty two. David is the one that wrote Psalms, the Book of Psalms, or well, part of it. Acts thirty Acts thirty two thirteen twenty two. Yeah, please turn there with me, my friends. We're gonna go through that road again here in just a little while. That Romans road. Praise the Lord. We all need to be born again. However, not that same thing. You must be born again. There's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, my friends. I, I, I shared Ephesians two eight through nine earlier. That was John three seven and Acts four twelve. Because for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever Believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life, my friends. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to Acts thirteen twenty two. Thirteen twenty two where the Bible says, Right John. It says, And when he removed and when he removed him, he raised up unto him, unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a, a Savior, Jesus. We need, to, we need to be after we need we need to be after uh, after God with God's own heart, like uh, David was. We need to follow Him. Let's give it to God. Let's give our God. Let's give God our hearts, my friend. Not just some of it. Let's give it all to Him. We must surrender our lives to Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life, as I mentioned earlier. The only way you can get to heaven. Because, now that you, because, because, we all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That was Romans 3.23 and 6.23. Is any of us righteous to get to heaven without Jesus? No. There is none righteous. No. Not one. That's Romans 3.10 because I do this every single day of my life because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone 
that believeth. Yes, I'm talking to you. Do you believe in Jesus? To everyone that believeth, we must be born again. That was, that was Romans 1, 1 16 right there because, <clears throat> my friends, we need to be born again. Because if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, who who thou shalt be saved? That was Romans 10 9, 10 5, 5 8 is a uh, God committed his love towards us while we were yet sinners. Christ, he died for us. He was on that cross. He said, it is finished. He bowed his head and gave up his ghost for us. That ghost, that Holy Spirit that would never leave us nor forsake us. That was uh, Romans 5, 8, John 19, 30, and Hebrews 13, 5. Please write all the scripture down. Okay. The word, the word never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So why are we trying to change the word and make it fit our own fit our own ideas? Like there's an LBGTQ Bible now. That is so evil. The devil is trying to kill, steal, and destroy. He's making all these different Bibles, changing God's Word. We don't need to change God's Word. We need to go by the KJV Bible, King James Version, the first one given to us in 1611 in English. We need to follow the truth, my friends. Follow the truth. If we must surrender. Because because God committed His love towards us, like I said. When we were as soon as Christ, He died for us. Because with the man, with the, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, the confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, who, who shall be saved? Okay, we ask the Lord into our hearts. He will cleanse us. Go to First John one nine. He will He will save us from our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's First John one nine. Please write that down. Because because we we must be born again. All right, my friends. Let's believe. Now, so now we're saved. Are you, are you ashamed now that we're saved? Let's, let's pray. Let's get saved this morning. Dear Lord, thank you so much for everything you do, Father God. We understand that you died, that you lived that sinless life for us, Lord, and you died on that cross for our sins. And we want to accept you into our hearts this morning and get saved by your grace through faith and have faith in you because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that do it. Seek him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for them faith and faith persons. Thank you so much. Please help us all, Lord. Help us all accept you into our hearts this morning. And you save us from our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us to be born again. While we're not that saying to you, you must be born again. As you say in John 3, 7, help us get born again by your grace through faith. And understand that you died on that cross for our sins and accept you into our hearts, and you will cleanse, save our sins, save us from our sins, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. Help us all get saved this morning, Lord Jesus. Please help us all. Hey, get that personal relationship with you, Lord, and talk to you every single day of our life. Get that tingling sensation, that, that breath of fresh air rushing through your body, Lord. I'm not sure how to explain it, but that's the best way I can do it, Lord. Your whole spirit is so powerful. As greater as you that is in us, that he is in this world, Lord. This world is full with the devil. Help us, Jesus. Focus on you and your word, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by you, Lord. Help us all get saved this morning. We're not saved already. Help us, Jesus, to accept you into our hearts and that we can live for you forever. You can live with us forever, Lord. <laughs> that we be with you in heaven. Because the our, what is our life? Our life is even as a vapor that appeared for a little time but then vanishes the way, as you say in James 4.14. Help us all get saved this morning. Help us all sing this song if we don't get saved, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for all you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Yes, sir. So now that you're saved, are you saved, my friends? I hope you accepted the Lord into your heart. And and, and He's going to change your life. It's a person. Don't worry about what this world thinks of you. Worry about what God thinks, what you're doing. That we are to be, like I said, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is. And He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. We need to diligently seek Him. We need to seek Him daily, my friends. Not just on Sundays and Wednesdays. Not just on special holidays. We need to do it every day. Every day of our life. Got to pause one more second and we're going to sing. If we're not ashamed, are you ashamed? I hope not. I hope you're not ashamed. We're going to sing a little song about it. Ooh, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Ooh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now I'm ready to be all he wants me to be. Uh, change all my wrong to right. No, I am not ashamed of the gospel. No, I am not ashamed 
of the gospel. No, I am not ashamed of the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Now I'm ready to be all he wants me to be. Change on my wrong to right. No. Woo Come on, guys and gals. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Let's get to church this morning. Praise his holy name. Well, God bless y'all. Thank you for tuning in this morning. I got to preach here in Pakistan here in a little while. I got to go make it short. A new campground here. It's cool. Which I'll see where I live now. God bless y'all. You know, check out Erdogan uh, Curly on, uh, and check out my post on partners and praising. Thank you so much. Well, God, God bless you. Y'all have a good day. It's Erdogan Curly.